Hello and welcome to the shack of KC8MTV. I wanted to share with everybody a project that I've been working on. Actually, I finished it about 4 a.m. this morning. I was so excited to get it going and uh, I didn't want to stop until I was finished. First of all, a little uh, history. I currently have my shack about 10 or 15 feet below ground level in my basement and uh, I have no windows and no real good access to the outside. I do have a couple um, access points going out uh, above the false ceiling for coax cables uh, to go up the tower, but other than that I, I don't have any uh, windows. I'm currently involved with APRS and the new system uh, Fusion by Yesu and the digital uh, mode and I'm really excited about that. Uh, two things that are in common, obviously, is with APRS and the, uh, the digital modes in, in the Yesu system fusion, is you need GPS signal. And of course, being 10 to 15 feet below ground level in a basement with no windows, <laughs> it's not an ideal situation if you wanna experiment uh, with, for example, the Yesu FT, to DHT. Um, yes, you can enter the coordinates, latitude and longitude manually, but I didn't want to do that. I wanted the geek factor of being able to have GPS signal in my basement. So what did I do? I went online and I purchased from a company called NavsGo. Here's the website, first of all. NavsGo Dot com and the model number is GR01 and what did I purchase I purchased a GPS signal repeater it was 69 bucks uh, I think I've seen them cheaper though it comes with a outside GPS antenna an indoor GPS antenna and a 5 volt USB power adapter I think it's about a five meter uh, cable for the outside antenna and maybe one meter uh, on the inside. So with that device, I uh, installed the outside antenna up on my roof, ran the cable down through into my shack, and I installed the indoor antenna just above one of my shelves here, and this is just temporary until I figure out what I'm going to do with it. And uh, I ran the power supply down with the other power cables and the uh, antenna cable coming in. Again, it's temporary. It goes up out the ceiling out to where the uh, uh, other antenna cables go. So with that, what I'm able to do now is get GPS signal in my shack. 15 feet below ground. You'll notice I've got an altimeter reading. I've got a north and west uh, latitude and longitude. And this is for my APRS running on my Kenwood TM D710G. And then down here, I've got my Yesu FTM400D. And as you'll see, I've got satellite signals from GPS. And I've got full bars, and I've got pretty much all the satellites locked. And then over here on my FT2D, I'm sorry guys, but I'm just totally geeked out about this. I've got full satellite lock, including altimeter. And that is all because of that GPS extender or amplifier. I think it's a great product. I think anybody that's involved with APRS or anything digital or requiring uh, GPS signal, that's well worth the investment. Um, so yeah, that's something I wanted to share with everybody. And... Um, Hopefully uh, 
it'll help some of you guys out there. I know I've read some articles where guys were having issues uh, with their radios getting GPS signals, especially in your car. I mean, can you imagine if you have the FTM 400 uh, D and you don't want to mount it on the windshield? Heck, you could mount this uh, head unit anywhere in your vehicle and then get yourself one of those GPS extender cables. And uh, yeah, so the possibilities are endless. So again, from the shack of KC8 MTV, 73s guys.